today we're going to transport ourselves to the greatest day of our entire existence. It's a day that when put into perspective, it will make everything else in our lives seem meaningless. If there's just one thing in this entire series that I could humbly request that you lend me your ears and your heart to, it would be for just these next few moments, inshallah. And if you let this absorb into your heart, inshallah, it will change your mindset and it will give you something to look forward to more than anything else you could have ever imagined. Before we begin, I just wanted to say, subhanAllah, this has been such a beautiful and enriching journey for me. And I hope it has been for you all that have been partaking in it alongside me. We began our series describing our ultimate goal, Jannah. And along the journey, we took just a small glimpse into the pleasures and joys of Jannah. The palaces made of gold and silver, the rivers of milk and honey, everlasting happiness, eternal youth, health, and life. Now, all of that is one thing, but there's something far greater, which will make you forget about all the splendors and all the pleasures of Jannah. You might be thinking, how is that even possible? How could something be even greater than the splendors of Jannah? How can something be greater than the palaces of gold, the rivers of milk and honey, the soil of musk and fragrances, an abode of eternal bliss? How could something, how could anything surpass it? Because then comes the day. Yom al the day of increase. As you're enjoying Jannah, a caller will call and say, O oh, people of Jannah, your Lord invites you, so rush to the meeting with your Lord. And they will say, We hear and we obey. They will rise and they will hasten to respond to the call of their Lord. And there will be mounds prepared for everyone which are like the Rolls Royces of Jannah. They will get on top of it, and they will travel and reach a vast and wide open valley called the Valley of Afyah. And everyone will be seated in different stations of honor. Some will be on stations of light, may Allah make us from them. Others will be on platforms of pearls, some on gold, others on silver and the lowest on that day will be sitting on cushions of musk. So as they're all seated, a caller will call out and say, O oh people of Jannah, you have a meeting with your Lord. He wishes to reward you. There is a promise of Allah left with you, a promise he wishes to honor. And so the people will ask, what could it be? Didn't he make our faces glow bright? Didn't he make us traverse over Jahannam and enter into Jannah? Didn't he make our good deeds supersede our bad deeds? What's left? And when they're waiting, a light will illuminate through paradise unlike anything they've ever seen before. 